fuck? Uh, Alright, uh, hello there dear viewers, this is an FW playing Metroid Prime 3 as usual, last video. We cut it really close with uh, fucking uh, Better of Italy. And now I'm probably we're going to again cut it close with the fucking meteor. <laughs> yep. Knew I had that charge for a reason. Thank you. This is shit's wrecked. The game. Oh no, shit's not wrecked yet. It's still possible to salvage the situation. Wait, what? Don't, don't tell me I, I'm actually timed here. Cause that would not be in, that would not be fun or entertaining and I hate it. Cause the only thing worse than a, having a timer in a game is having uh, a timed section and no timer. Just open open door. Oh hello friends. You're late. We were about to leave you behind. The meteor is approaching faster than you think. If we don't make it to the top in time, we can kiss this planet goodbye. Hey, relax. We're the good guys. Justice will prevail and all that stuff. Right, Samus? Here, here. Let's do this. Guess who, motherfuckers? Yeah! Yeah, it's fucking Dark Samus! Fuck you! Fuck you, Dark Samus. Seriously. She's coming too. Can you hear me, Samus? Vital signs are stable. Welcome back, Samus. You've been asleep for quite some time. A month, to be exact. We feared we'd lost you. Thanks to your great work, Norian is now safe. 
At the end of the battle, we found you and the other hunters all unconscious. Our medical examinations then yielded surprising results. Your bodies are now somehow self-generating Phazon. What's even stranger is that there are no negative effects to your health. This led us to investigate if we could make effective use of this Phazon. During the invasion on Norian, you must have noticed some powerful troopers in new suits. They were wearing what we call Phazon Enhancement Devices, or PEDs. We integrated this same Phazon Enhancement Device into your armor while repairing your damaged bodysuit. Troopers wearing this device have Phazon pumped to their weapons from an external backpack. This gives them an extra boost in firepower. But in your case, think about it. With this Phazon coursing through your body, you can fuel the PED using your own internal energy. Pretty effective, don't you think? Why don't you try the PED now? Seal the room. Initiate PED program. Recharging energy reserves. Uh, right. Uh, what energy phase on? Huh. All right. noticed during this test that Hypermode possesses devastating power. Over the past month, we've learned the hard way just how powerful our enemies are. To deal with them, you'll need the firepower of the PED suit. Make good use of it. Now that you are familiar with the workings of the PED device, the Aurora Unit 242 would like to meet with you. There are many pressing matters to discuss. The AU chamber is located just off the command bridge. You'd better get going. Good luck. Oh, and one more thing. After 25 seconds, the safety feature automatically ends hyper mode. You'll have to keep paying attention. You know, Samus, I personally, I feel like Samus would, um, Maybe possibly object to this. Um, especially given, um, because she's she's seen what Phazon can do. I I personally feel like she would be kind of freaked out and not at all. Wait, what? I feel like she would be not at all happy that... Um... That she wouldn't be happy at all that fa there's phase on in her system. I, I definitely wouldn't, considering, like, everything she's gone to. I mean, even Prime 2, the big reason why everything happened in Prime 2 was, again, because of Phazon. Phazon made an alternate world. It's kinda nuts. And she's just, she's like, okay, yeah, sure. I mean, I would probably be freaking out just a tiny little bit. Tiny little bit. Wait, what? Oh, hello there, friend. Samus, you made it. Glad to hear you're feeling better. You've been cleared to enter the AU chamber. Please proceed through these doors and up the lift. The Aurora unit is expecting you.
Why does this look like a battle arena? I feel like I'm 90% certain this something like this is going to become a battle arena. Shit. Let us begin. Time is most critical. During the attempted pirate invasion of Norian, it was confirmed that two nearby planets were similarly attacked. These planets are named Rio and Elysia. These Leviathans have impacted and embedded themselves deep into each planet, spreading a virulent phase on carried inside their bodies. The Leviathans must be destroyed. Two weeks ago, we dispatched Runtus to Brio, Gore to Elysia, while Gandreda was sent to locate the space pirate stronghold. Like you, they were outfitted with PED devices in order to confront this new threat. We lost contact with all of them seven days ago, and feared the worst. In their absence, we need you to travel to these planets and finish their missions. The closest planet is Brio. This will be your first objective. Please be on the lookout for any clues that might help us understand what happened to Rundus and the other hunters. Good luck. We were wondering what happened to him. You think that maybe, just maybe, the phase on in their bodies might not be the best? Because, uh, I mean, no, am I, w would it be weird for, for anyone to be somewhat concerned about this? And I'm going to guess that's basically the end of what basically was the tutorial. Samus, the fleet is now moving to the rendezvous location. You will no longer be able to dock with us from this point forward. Rest assured, we will keep communication lines open and supply you with information when necessary. Good luck, Umbria. Alright, sweet. This is a, definitely a new way of um, uh, making this game, or of, of doing a Metroid game. I kind of like it. Oh shit! All right then. That's interesting. I'm gonna guess that's space pirate technology. Samus is definitely taking just everything in stride. War Golem is offline and traveling in stone. Beyond repair. Well, shit. Those speakers are designed to shift shape into the large weather. This is. Really cool. <laughs> so, a granite store near Brios is used to create travelers. I mean, this is. Oh shit! It's uh, pretty special. Samus, the Leviathan Seed is protected by an energy shield. You will not be able to reach it with that barrier active. We need more data to determine how the shield can be disabled. You are near the wreckage of a downed Federation vessel. 
If you can use the satellite uplink on the ship, you may be able to access information concerning the seed. Prepare to receive the ship's coordinates now. Cool. How far away is it? You know what? I, I keep asking, how far away is this thing going to be? When I honestly have no idea of distances in this game. Uh, oh. Okay, I, I started saying this, but, um, you know, I wouldn't say no to, like, an explor exploration game or something based off of the Metroid Prime world, because fuck me, this place is awesome. This place is fucking awesome! Yeah, it's not possible to scan that thing. Guess who? Wait, hold on. Wait. Gragnol! Lack of exoskeleton makes it agile, but weak to most weapons. Eh, might as well get him. Gragnols are vulnerable to most weapons, as they have not developed the durable exoskeleton. Uh. Wait, seriously? I can just view the model, too? Huh. Well, I guess they had that in the other games. Uh, finally, all adult members of the species. They often travel and attack in groups. If they sense a nearby threat to their hives, they will not hesitate to advance. Their offensive capabilities are under underdeveloped, leaving the ability to fire pulses of phase-on energy their only... F Everything is starting to develop phase the ability to fire phase on. Uh corn to war. Huh. Alright. You you notice that it's no longer um like it replenishes energy. No. It replenishes phase on. Something I would definitely be very worried about. Eh. But you know, Samus is taking it in stride, so I guess I should too. Okay, I have to scan this door. Cause this door looks awesome. Look at it. Look at this fucking thing. This entire place is great. I love it. I mean, they... It's just the entire Prime Games. As much as I didn't like some of the areas in 2, they look fantastic, nonetheless. Is this a safe point? I mean, I'm just wa I'm walking from point A to point B here, man. That's what you do in these games. Uh, I'm going to phase on with an ice that have begun to at oh, y yep, great, great, great. That's what we need. Is 
Presumption for current suit upgrades. This little expansion. So, I can't reach that yet. Well, I mean, maybe? I don't know. See, the games were always great with tell with basically saying, hey, look, you see this thing? Can't go to it yet. Maybe you should uh, try going somewhere else, see? Eh? Forget about it. Shit, what? Oh. Oh no, that's... Well then. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is so fucking cool. Okay, anyway, I should, I should. There we are. That's where I want to look at. Phase on night bar, group forms powerful attack, but it may be. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's cool. If enhanced air abilities make it all but impossible to hit them with all shots, work together. They fire out their prey, detonating the charge with normal attacks. Before it fires, should destroy them. Phase on night barbs, the result of phase on phase radiation. Mutation looks a bit longer. Okay, yes, we. This is cool, though. I'm liking this. This is how you... These are some fantastic enemy designs and mechanics. Fuck me, this is great. This is a great-ass game. Oh, wait, shit. Oh. Sweet, kill yourselves. Yep, that's how you do it. Anyway, fuck, I, I'm getting distracted. If you like what you saw... If you like what you're, liking what you're seeing, because I, I know I certainly am, but, um, then we'll be fucking back later playing more of this, uh, this game. But of course, you know, until then, this is NFTW signing out.